Wow. Okay, this guy's on another level, dude. He took away your bending. He's a mon. We must save Alphonse at all costs. There's literally no other character I've ever met who as cure-hearted as Alphonse. And there goes his head again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reaction. We just came off of the interlude episode, which was, to be fair, a recap episode. But we are now heading into the third arc. There aren't really arcs, I know, but I'm calling them a third arc because it's the third intro uh, of the new series. I mean, granted, we really started it with the last episode, but really, it's this one. Anyway, you've been here before. You know how we do this. Let's go. Three, two, one, play. Y'all said uh, I will will slowly fall in love with the intro song. I don't know, fam. I don't know, fam. Although I did so see one comment where one of you guys was like, nah, the, the first one's way better than the second intro and the third intro. So I'm like, that's how I feel kind of too. The first one I liked, like without any kind of reservations. The second intro grew on me, but still isn't my favorite. This one, I just don't like the singer. This The singer is just not my vibe. Oh, that's right, Gluttony is bringing uh, Alphonse to the father's lair, which is probably not a good idea. Hello, father! I brought you a human sacrifice! <laughs> oh, is he gonna see his face and be like, no, that's my father? Oh, <gasps> I knew it! It is his dad, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna figure out what's going on, but it's his dad, right? What in the world? Okay, that just went to like a hundred real quick. Oh, that's right. Cause Edward just got out of his body. Okay, that makes sense. That actually does make sense. We're just seeing the context of what the two episodes ago were. When, yeah, when Edward, Envy, and the prince were all in the body. We're back in the real world. <laughs> They're bros now. You know, it's been a while since they've had comical stuff like that. I feel like the past few episodes have been like super dire. This is somewhat surprising. What the Hohenheim? Yeah, but he's definitely different. His hair is longer. Are you two the Elric brothers? So you're you're not. Dude, this is for real some Kingdom Hearts stuff right now. By any chance, do you mean von Hohenheim? And how is it the two of you are acquainted with him? We're his sons, dude. He's our father. He's your father? This is indeed surprising. I had no idea he had children. <laughs> this is surprising, actually, his personality, this guy. I thought he'd be, like, way more sinister and evil. Then why is it that your family name is Elric? Elric is our mother's last name! It's like Miles Morales. My Miles so took on his mother's last name. Just forget him! Who the hell are you? And why do you look exactly like him? I know that he can't be dead. We're finally going to get explanation. I'm like Edward right now. And you're missing your left hand, aren't you? Wow. Your arm is broken. Wow. Okay, this guy's on another level, dude. He's looking to see if anything else is broken. <laughs> dude, this is weird. He's not evil at all. I consider the two of you to be vital resources. Oh no, he's just he's just fluffing him up for the for the sacrifice. I would ask who you are, but I honestly don't care. <laughs> Damn. I can tell he looks down on humans and calls us fools. When you notice an insect on the ground, do you stop to consider it a fool? Ooh, dang. Shots fired. So, is he a god or something? Dude, he didn't even move. He didn't even try to evade. Yo, you, you know you gotta be afraid of somebody if he doesn't even try to evade. He doesn't even care. This is like some Emperor Palpatine, Thanos type stuff right now. Like, you can't do anything do to him. That? Thanos with a gauntlet, of course. This is a waste of time. He doesn't even have to clap his hands together. Like, that's how OP he is. Okay, now that I'm seeing them specifically, okay, I can see the differences, differences between Father Homunculi and Hohenheim. Well, they're submitting? Really? What's going on? I can't transmute! Oh no, okay, no. They were, they were just trying to transmute. Why can't we <gasps> use our alchemy? He took away your bending! He's a mon! I still don't have an explanation for why he looks like their father, though. I could always use a new pawn in the rotation. 
Wait. Oh, is he the truth? Is that a philosopher's stone? Oh no. The stone is added into the bloodstream. If it is able to merge, then a human-based homunculus is created. <gasps> oh, lean! But it's more common for the stone to overpower the subject and kill them. Right, like what happened with Bradley. Let him go! He's got people waiting. Oh, and this is the kind of show Ling's in trouble right now. Can you read from such a sad face? Come on, Edward. You know those aren't real people anymore. This is exactly what I want. So you just stay out of it. Oh, that is true. That is his goal. But we'll see if your body is as willing as your mind. <laughs> no doubt. Oh, dang. Here we go. All right, everybody, right now, taking bets. Do you guys think Ling survives or dies? Vote on the side here. There's, there's no real vote. I just mean, like, you know, philosophical vote. Or not a philosophical vote. Just, just a hypothetical vote is what I meant to say. Ow. Granted, he might actually want you to take over Shing. Just in the same way that Bradley is, you know, taking over Central. I think he's gonna survive. What? Ah, uh, you mean the guy I took this body from? Oh! You know, Ling? Did he say greed? So greed's back, and Ling. So Ling. Oh, am I wrong? Like he technically didn't die, but he's he is dead. Are you the greed from before? Uh, you must have met some different greed. Ah. Uh. But Ling, he gave up his body without any fight at all. But he wanted to rule himself, luck, not you. you. Hey, be careful what you wish for, so though. So That's probably the lesson with uh, Ling right now. And Ling's gonna fight back, and he said, "You're not gonna fight back, are you?" Scars here. Oh, and the little girl. What's the May? Matter? I know her name now. Yo, Scar, he's too much for you. So the armored boy is not with the homunculi. Oh, so Scar actually is like kind of okay with him now, huh? That little guy is the full metal alchemist. <laughs> Her dreams are dashed. Never meet your heroes, guys. Never meet your heroes. Oh my god, that's so weird. He doesn't have his alchemy to stop you right now. Oh, is that true? Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he does. What? Well, he, oh, because he's not using alchemy, right? He's using alchemy. Oh, so he's never been using alchemy this entire time. <laughs> no, guys, you guys need alchemy. The truth about who shot that child and started the uprising, he's standing right there. This is what I was talking about when they were being teamy teamy inside Gluttony's stomach. It's like, uh, guys, eventually you guys are not going to be allies anymore. I'd like to hear more details about this. In between your screaming. <laughs> In between your screaming, that's a good line. Your only solace for my wrath will be damnation. Yo, you about to get the business. I think Scar can actually give Envy the business. Nice. Take care of the outsiders. Sure. He even moves like Ling. Like, is it because he's adapting Ling's personality a little bit? I know you're still in there. I wonder if um Edward can save nope, Ling by going to the truth. You better not eat that little girl. Oh my god, he's just going crazy. I love how he's just observing everything too. That's Let's very godlike. How are you able to use your alchemy? Not gonna work on him, bro. I can already tell you that right now. Yo, you just smacked a six-year-old. Oh yeah, you guys can still use your martial arts. Oof. There's too many of them. Yeah, you're not getting out. Scar can deal with them though. And with them, but he's injured though. And it makes me sick to have to ask you for help. But right now, we need to save this girl's life. What do you plan on doing? We must save Alphonse at all costs. There's literally no other character I've ever met. Who as cure hearted as Alphonse. And there goes his head again. Jeez, couldn't you have warned me first? <laughs> Get up and track his sin, Gluttony. You've used up your regenerative power. <gasps> Wait, what? That's a thing? You can run out of your regenerative power? Wow, that was pretty good. So he's taking on greed without uh, his alchemy like he was before. 
Good job, Edward. Keeping up. Let's go, Edward. He's in there. Ling's alive. Yo, this was a this was a bomb episode. <laughs> like a lot happened in that. That was so crazy. All right, hold on. let's check to see if there's an end credit scene. I don't think so. This doesn't feel like an end credit scene. Oh, yep, yep. Oh my God, yep. I see that you've exhausted. What's he gonna do? Bring gluttony back to life or something? Oh, uh, so gluttony's dead. But he's just gonna remake gluttony again, just like he did with greed. With all of your memories intact. Okay, so why does he get to keep his memories and the other guy couldn't? I don't understand. I don't understand that. So he, he tells him at the end there that I'll bring you back someday, which obviously we're gonna probably see Gluttony again in some new body in the future, but with your memories intact. So why is it that Gluttony is allowed to have his memories intact, but Greed didn't have mem his memories intact? Oh, I wonder, is the reason why Gluttony or the reason why Greed wasn't allowed to keep his memories intact because he went rogue and he probably went rogue for a good reason. And you know, he was obviously executed for it. I'm sure the, cause it, it wasn't explained. We didn't have an actual conversation between the new greed and father. So I'm wondering if that conversation, if it did come up that he would lie and say, oh yeah, greed died in the, in the line of battle or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. All right, before we get on to the next video, uh, someone in my live stream who is watching me do my reaction live right now made a very good point uh, that I didn't realize in the last episode. Uh, Slep Prince uh, in the comments here says, um, what happened to gluttony is exactly what happened to lust. And I'm like, oh yeah, duh. Like you can overuse the regeneration properties of your stone. And that's what Roy did to her because he just burnt, he basically just burnt all the souls that were in it and burnt all the regeneration until she couldn't you know, regenerate anymore and she you know, finally died. So yes, thank you for pointing Pointing that out. Also, I guess this is the time that I'll say it now. If you too want to watch my reactions live unedited, uh, you can become a member on this channel. Just hit the join button below. If you don't see the join button below, uh, you can also look in the description box and look at the YouTube membership and you'll see a link there. Uh, but let's get on to the next episode in three, two. See, I like that first beat of this new intro i just when the guy starts singing i'm like ah merpader like i like that beat it's literally just the singer that i'm not into but the beat's ghoul did i say ghoul like good and cool at the same time and my that's a new word right now ghoul it's real, real ghoul hey envy got his uh form back where are you taking us just get in i mean why didn't they just do this from the start if they wanted them as human sacrifices and wanted to keep them safe why not just like put them in a prison somewhere where they can't do anything like, that would make the most sense i would think this looks like <gasps> it's central command oh they're, they're right the under Lord. central that's crazy i never would have guessed they were beneath the command loki edward looks taller in that shower there is some good news in all of this. Oh yeah, he didn't tell him yet. You saw it? My body's still in there? Oh, I like that. The recap was the image. That was well played, show. Well played. Yes. <laughs> Alfalfa. Al, what's that weird little cat doing in here? Uh, <laughs> cat. You know that little girl? <laughs> she closed her eyes. Oh, they couldn't get her out. Hey, what's the hold up? Get a move on. Y'all are were yelling way too much. This show and it's comedy in the middle of like drama is so funny. She's hurt pretty bad. Hey! Wrath will take over babysitting you now. Wrath? Oh yeah, that's right. They're all in on it. Colonel? Oh, they're gonna think he's in on it too. There's three of us and only one of him. He's only got one sword with him. So he's that confident he could take us all at once. I like how all their thoughts are shared. <laughs> like what? Well, that's great for us. But what happens to all the people who aren't lucky enough to be considered sacrifices? Wait, what does it even mean to be a sacrifice? It seems like that's a bad thing. Like lucky enough to be sacrifices? Like what? I'll warn the other state alchemists. I'll tell them. What was that lovely young girl's name again? Uh oh. As long as you don't interfere with our plans. You I'm still confused. Wait, did I miss something? Like. What does it mean to be a sacrifice? Because I would think being a sacrifice means you're going to die. So it wouldn't matter if you get your bodies back because you're going to be dead. I would like to ask you one question. Go ahead. Are you the one who murdered General Hughes? No, he's not. No, that was not me. Then who did? Colonel, I agreed to one question. Oh, well played. <laughs> I really thought he was about to say well played. That would have been funny. What the heck? He did not just kill that little girl. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she's all the way down his leg. That's so funny. Help us out. Have you got any change? You want my money now? Just give it. Jeez. Dude, I really like this show. What the hell's with them? Uh, no, the lieutenant. Wait, lieutenant, who are you referring to? What are you talking about? Is there something troubling you, Colonel? Oh, for a second, I thought he was like possessed or something. Lieutenant. I was getting oh, oh, he was looking for Riza. Okay. Uh, someone once told me to never give up, no matter what. No matter what. Cool whip. Like any suspicious people following you? Well, Ed. What is it? <laughs> He's so serious. Well, it's actually pretty rare to get a call from you. I'd oh my God, her wrapping her finger in the wire. <sighs> The little details in the show, guys. The little details. It's literally like watching a novel. Because you know novels like pay attention to those sort of details. They, 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 they do a lot for me, personally. I think those are really nice. It's your call. Hey, wait! Ling! Uh, greed. <laughs> yeah. But Ling is getting through, though. So Ling's not dead. But he's not alive, either. Yeah, so where, where does Scar leave to? Is she just staying in the sewer? Who is that godless monster? What cause would bring him to initiate a civil war and ravage an entire country? Uh, you know what? Also, like, Alphonse and Edward aren't asking about why this guy looks like their father. Like, that? that has you not been sufficiently answered yet. I can't help you if you're injured. Why don't you come down here? Is everything all right outside? Wait, is he blind? Let me help you with your injuries. He I'm wasn't a doctor. blind before. Or is that just the way they're animating his eyes? So you're in Ishval and oh, Okay, and yeah, his eyes are just very you're small. I'm the alchemist responsible for the extermination of your people. So, then you're dead then. The young lord has saved our clan. And now we have to return to our country. But you can't Where return you? to Will your you country because he's inside of Greed's What's wrong? Why are you being body so now. Has something happened to the young lord? Please talk to me, Alphonse. Be careful what you wish for, y'all. The fool. Just look where his allegiance to the people has gotten him now. Typical human. Shut the hell up! Don't underestimate <gasps> humans. He's getting through! Sick! I know, I know. That's cool. <laughs> How can we fight a war like this? Whoa. Him without his mustache is weird. I need your help. I want a new arm. As soon as possible. Oh, yes, sure? that's right. Winry can get your new arm. Winry. Winry. <gasps> Ooh, so they are enemies. I had a feeling. I wonder if they were going to be at odds. To obtain immortality. Too bad you won't live to see me get it. Wow. You won't even leave this room, princess. Wow. <laughs> this went to 100 real quick. There you go. Help people out. I'm able to use my alchemy again. Yeah, because you're outside of the central command. I'm sure the central command has like a lock on it or something i really want there to be a show of like a superhero that does very mundane things and we weren't the only ones who couldn't transmute this morning oh no okay it was everywhere how come scar and that little girl were able to use theirs yeah i mean i thought you would understand that it's alka history right i'm gonna have to make them teach it to me so that'd be pretty powerful maybe i can use it to get al's body back oh yeah i've got to get this to the lieutenant okay all right all right Oh wait, hold on. Let me let me check the end credit scenes. Let me, let me see. Uh, I don't think that's an end credit scene. Oh, actually, that might be an end credit scene. Hold on, let me see. All right, let me see. Please take my life. My own death is the only form of revenge that I have. Actually, you really should. This is, this is the one time you should kill somebody. Give me the truth before my right hand destroys you. Well, he wants to be destroyed, so, I mean, I don't know. I don't know about that. I like how the, the nice little music, like, cut out, too. Next time on Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 30, the Ishvalan War of Extermination. Okay, so this is like a flashback episode, maybe? Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we've gotten a lot of stories about Ishval already, but I guess we're just getting, like, more about it. But I feel like we, I get it. What else can they reveal to me about the Ishvalan War that I don't know? I mean, it was fabricated by the homunculi. It, it was a pretty nasty thing. Central, like, you know, did a lot. Uh, had a lot of fault in it, even if they didn't start it. They had a lot of fault in it. Uh, a lot of, you know, people made their names in it. Roy made their na his name there. Uh, Armstrong refused to fight in it because he thought it was wrong. Crimson was a brute and, like, just destroyed everything around it. In there, uh, the first guy who I forgot his name, um, Isaac the Freezer, I think his name was, uh, he... 
uh, did his thing there and, you know, went against that. Right. And then, you know, Scar's brother died there. That's the reason how, you know, he has his arm right now and why he has his vendetta against everyone. So I don't know what other new information I need from the East Fallen War. Apparently they have something to say, but we'll see what it is. So that's it for this reaction of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'll see you guys on the next one, which is called uh, East Fallen War of Extermination. You can let me know what you think in the comments below, or you can watch more of my videos here at the side of my face, including my videos for my tier list videos of my favorite fight scenes. If you have not seen them, I did it for uh, part one and part two. Go ahead and check out those videos. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace love and remember one is all and all is one